Lefitograst, which goes by the brand name Zydra, is a dry eye medication meant to reduce the inflammation of the ocular surface associated with dry eye syndrome. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. You've made it to eye school with me, Dr. D. In today's lesson, we're diving into the science behind one of our prescription dry eye medications, Lefitograst or Zydra. Eye school is all about eye education. Make sure to leave me a comment below if you've ever tried Zydra before. And if you found this video because you were searching for information on dry eye syndrome, I have a playlist that I'll leave for you here to check out. There's all kinds of education there about dry eye and blepharitis that I hope you'll find helpful. Dry eye disease is an inflammatory disorder of the ocular surface. The mainstay of therapy includes artificial tears, punctal plugs, topical anti-inflammatory agents, and corticosteroids. In the past few years, only cyclosporin A emulsions have been added to the existing therapies that we have, but it is discontinued by a lot of patients as it causes a burning sensation upon installation. So in the research efforts to find an alternative anti-inflammatory therapeutic option for dry eye disease, Lefitograss was discovered. This medicine, get ready, is a lymphocyte function associated antigen intercellular adhesion molecule 1 antagonist. How is that for a mouthful? What lefitograss does is it obstructs the pathway of ocular surface inflammation by targeting the interaction of two very specific T cell receptors. By blocking this interaction, T cells cannot migrate to the tissue and start the downstream process, which normally results in the release of inflammatory mediators, cytokines, chemokines, TNF, and interleukin-1, which further inflammation on the ocular surface. So lefitograss is something that jumps in in that inflammatory process and stops it from ever starting. Luckily, lefitograss is favorable pharmacologically as an eye drop. It does really well. And this is in opposition to restasis or cyclosporin, which have to be carefully formulated for efficacy in the eye. Lefitograss showed efficacy in its clinical trials, helping with both signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. It also has a nice rapid onset of action and is tolerated pretty well. As opposed to cyclosporin, which may take closer to six weeks to change symptoms, I have seen many patients on lefitograss clinically improve within two weeks. Now, I am by no means saying one of these medications is better than the other. In fact, I prescribe all of the dry eye medications very, very regularly. It's all about which dry eye anti-inflammatory is right for you. But these are just some comparison points with the two medications. If you're taking Zydra as compared to taking Restasis, your Zydra is gonna work faster than your Restasis does. This ain't no diss track. I ain't doing it. So Zydra is used twice daily, 12 hours apart. The most common side effect I hear is a terrible taste in the back of the throat. It comes in single-use containers that are non-preserved, which is great for dry eye disease, and should be thrown away after every single use. This medication often requires a prior authorization from your insurance, which does make the process of getting it approved um, take a little bit longer. You may not go right to the pharmacy and get this medication after your visit. But take a look at my video on prior authorizations for more on what you can expect if Zydra is prescribed for you. So what is the difference between Restasis and Zydra? There's currently no clinical trials that directly compare the effectiveness of one versus the other. Both have been shown to be effective in clinical trials when compared to placebo against dry eye signs and symptoms. And the most effective medication will be the one that works best for you. Clinical trials show for each of the medications that they are effective, that they do reduce signs and symptoms. And so truly, whether Zydra works for you, cyclosporin or stasis sequa works for you, it, it's all for the good. You're just gonna have to try and see which of the anti-inflammatories is best for you. So have you tried Restasis or Zydra, or we'll broaden that Restasis out to any cyclosporin because we now have Sequa, which is cyclosporin as well. What was your experience? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. I love hearing your stories. That's gonna be it for today's iSchool lesson, and I will see you next time. Class is dismissed.